It's early morning in Tepene, a village in Kowale, the rural district outside Mombasa, and home to Abu Zaidan School, one of the Aga Khan Foundation's madrasa preschools. Today, as with most school days, seven-year-old Halima Ali is getting ready for class. Halima wakes up in the morning and after she has prepared herself for school. She normally leaves here by 7 a.m. to walk almost a half hour to school. It's a tough life. We normally don't have three proper meals in a day. And if we miss out on lunch, we make sure that people at least have something to eat for dinner. So income is very, very low. As the program evolved, we saw sick children, children coming to school without food, six-year-olds carrying eight months old to the preschool center. And the problems at home and were simply being reflected from, from, from the class. The development of the child cannot be compartmentalized, and that's why we talk about a holistic approach. You can't put aside the religious formation, which is so important to this culture and to the tradition. But how do you make an environment where children can still learn about their faith, uh, but at the same time receive education about the world in which they live? We have Muslims and Christians working together, so there's a lot of tolerance, understanding. There's a lot of sharing that the children are taught about sharing, about respect, about valuing other religions in your community. I was born in Tanzania in a small village and my parents were born there as well. When I was 10, we moved to Canada and this was certainly a great opportunity to come back and, uh, and work in this type of setting uh, and, and try and make a difference in people's lives. I was born in Mombasa. I come from a very big family. We are eight in the family. My mother believed in educating the girls and the boys. I remember her saying, I have no house or shamba, which is land, to give you, but I'm giving you education. How you use it, that's up to you. Meet Shafiq Daramsi and Najma Rashid two people at the center of a major educational reform movement in East Africa. The reforms include early childhood education, teacher training, and primary school improvement to provide accessible quality education to poor communities. Starting out in Mombasa, Kenya's second largest city, the Madrasa Preschool Program introduced secular early childhood education into the traditionally Islamic religious school system. I experienced difficulty in sending my children to madrasa. That's when I started thinking, I said, there must be a way where the children can learn the Quran and learn the, the secular education together. So that's when the Aga Khan decided what the Muslim really need is preschool. I come to school. The concept of integration was very foreign. I mean, what do you mean you'll come into the madrasa? It's a very sacrosanct sort of environment. Integration means a secular approach, building that on the foundation of the universal principles of the faith. Before the madrasa program, 
Poor children in Mombasa had little access to early childhood education that would provide the necessary building blocks for lifelong learning. By using the existing madrasa structure as a starting place, the program gave young children the skills and abilities to prepare them for primary school, an approach that has become recognized by educators throughout East Africa. They are telling the head teachers from the madrasa preschool, bring us more of your children because these kids can read English, can write English, know numbers, so there's very little work now for the primary teacher. Even if the class has 40 kids or 50 kids, you know, most of these kids are very capable. Key to the success of the program from the start was the involvement of Aga Khan Foundation and the support it drew from the Canadian International Development Agency. With CEDA's assistance, the foundation supports more than 50 pre-primary schools in the Mombasa region alone and has established similar education programs in Tanzania and Uganda. The Aga Khan Foundation is perhaps unique in that it has deep roots in countries such as Canada, the United States, UK, but we have equally deep, if not deeper, roots in places such as Mombasa, Kenya. Aga Khan Foundation Kenya also works with Aga Khan Education Services, which has been running schools in Kenya for a hundred years. And so our roots and our commitment to this part of the world are long term. Principles of generosity and kindness and forgiveness and service aren't uh, exclusive to Muslims. I mean, they cut across all faiths. So now we're finding that the Christian community is wanting to access the Madrasa Early Childhood Education Program. The concept is universal.